here's some sow thistle. It's also got the spines on it. And you can see how the leaves wrap around. Kind of wrap around the stalk. I'm going to take that in and try to eat some of that stalk. Here's a young sow thistle. I'm sure the leaves, you cut the spines off, they taste a little better before it starts flowering. I heard also if you, you take the stems and eat them like celery. Here's some milk thistle. Has a nice purple flowers. The spiny leaves. Catch catch the uh, plant before it blooms and get the stalks. And they're good to eat like celery. You take your thumbnail and just kind of peel the strings off. Just like you would celery all right this is the sow thistle and i pulled the strings off and we get a little taste mm. that's not bad nice and crunchy like celery Be good if you dip some hummus with it, or some ranch, or sriracha. Here's some bull thistle. If you can get past all them spines, you can get to that stalk like celery. And this looks like a poisonous look-alike of the. Uh, sow thistle because some people think it's because the leaves kind of wrap around they slightly wrap around the stem and it has that stem like a thistle and the flowers when they bloom they look like thistle flowers but you see it has those like hairy spider webby look to it this is poisonous Poisonous ground, Texas groundsel, and I think just a regular groundsel has like little uh, black triangles at the base of the flowers. So don't pick that. Texas groundsel, poisonous. It's kind of raining out here today. Here's another example of the Texas groundsel, a poisonous kind of a look-alike of uh, sow thistle.